Hello and welcome to the Catch Home Lab here at the University of Sheffield. Uh, we're really excited this afternoon uh, because we've had delivery of a brand spanking new Pepper robot. Um, and so what we thought we would do um, uh, is do a, an unboxing video because um, that's apparently all the rage nowadays on this YouTube thing. So uh, we thought we would do an unboxing. Um, so so here's, here's my colleague Stephen and we're going to uh, bring Pepper out onto the, in, into the world. So let, let's open up the box and see what's inside. The first thing that we see is that uh, our colleagues in Sheffield Robotics have named our Pepper robot Benny. Um, this is because there's four robots that we've had delivery here at the university. Um, and we have Benny, but there's also Bjorn, Agneta and Anna Fried. Um, I, I can't think why they, they would call them those names. I think if you just, oh, Abba, hmm. maybe. Anyway, right, so this one's Benny, and so let's open it, open it up. It comes in very funky packaging, as you can see. So are we going to... Let's, let's... We're going to read the instructions. We're going to read the instructions. <laughs> Who reads instructions? We don't need to read the instructions. Surely not. Ah, oh, as, as Stephen points out, it says here, please wait, read me first. I think what I, what I will, uh, if you, if Stephen is pretending to read them, I think what I'll do is I'll go up to the, so the camera might be able to see, these are the instructions. <laughs> right, so what do, we do, what do we need to do first, Stephen? What's we, say? Um, um, we put the box vertically. Yep, we have that. Uh, we stick the upper flap in the slot as shown in figure one. So, ah, which, which, what's supposed to come up, is it this? No, this, this goes in, in, in there somehow. Oops. Ah, right, okay. Right, okay, that's in. There we go. So actually we did need the instructions. <laughs> uh, so we removed the frontal protection. Okay. Slide your hand inside and put it and put it on Pepper's head to prevent him from falling. Okay. Alright, you've got you've got the head. Do we need this at all? Should I just put it at the back? Okay. Pull out Pepper's head and arms. Poor Pepper, that sounds quite painful. Place your ha hands under arms and slowly lift Pepper out of its box. Okay. But wait. I thought there was supposed to be a ramp. There is a ramp. Please wait. Yes, here, put the blue corner. It's kind of unfolded ramp. That, so we just, we just unfolded um, a bit of cardboard to make a little ramp to take Pepper out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hands under arms and slowly lift Pepper out of his box. Be careful, Pepper is heavy. Okay, so I don't know if you caught that, but Pepper, we have to be careful because Pepper is heavy. So, I'll let under the arms? Yeah, oh, oh, am I doing both? Okay, no, under, under the, the arms. arms. Yeah, okay, I'm going under the arms. Place Pepper in the safe posture. Oh, I'm not sure. What a safe posture is it? Pepper seems to want to move around. Uh, ah, okay, you can, you can balance itself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, remove the accessory box. Okay. I think we, we need to go and show the world this is the accessory box. Put this down here. While Pepper is in a safe posture, hold him firmly and slowly remove the pins. There uh, should be two pins. There's, uh, there's a pin there. And there's another one in the hip. Yes, there's one. There's a, a knee, one and a hip, hip one. So, so, so we're going to hold him firmly. You're going to hold him and I'll, yep. and I'll, I'll pull. There we go, there's one pin. So there's one pin. 
and second, less impressive. We'll keep him. Yeah. Remove the plastic protections and the tablet protection. Well, this will be this. Open the soft cover on the back of the neck to access the stop button and the pins holder. Ah. Do, I, do I put the pins? Yep. Ah, right, okay. The pins that you threw. <laughs> the pins I threw, the pins threw, I threw on the floor <laughs> need to go in here. Okay. <laughs> I want to press the red button. Do not press the red button. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> unlock the stop button. Turn the stop button to the right to unlock it. Right. Okay, I've unlocked okay. the stop button. Now, it should pop out. When the stop button is unlocked, it cannot be turned or it risks breaking. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Slowly close the soft cover. Be careful not to not to activate the stop button when doing that. Okay. Very confident I haven't done that. So why does the pin need to go in? I don't Is that a kind of safety thing? I think it must be. So you can kind of make sure people can't turn it on. Yes. Um, now it's to do with the. Um, Where they go? The way it it's supports in here. itself. Oh, oh right. Um, the as soon as you take the pins out, the um, mechanisms allow it to move. So the pins are lock it in place so it can't... Uh, and then the pin goes back in the neck And the then. pin, the, you store the pins in the neck. So, so it's just a storage. storage. It's not storage. Okay. It's not for anything. Yeah, so yeah. not sort of any security. Yeah, I guess also if it wanders yeah. around and doesn't come back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Cool. You, I'm going to ask you to press the chest button once to turn pepper on. I'm still not sure what the chest button is. The ears, eyes and status shoulder LEDs yes. will light up when Pepper is activated. Pepper will be on once he says Og Nak Nuk. Okay, that's Og Nak Nuk. Do not press the chest button for longer than four seconds or you will reset your robot. Okay, um, so that's the chest button. Here we go. I think, feel like we need a drum roll. Can anyone do a drum roll? Well, I can say if robots are going to take over the world, they need to turn on a bit quicker than this, really. Oh no, I ruined it! <laughs> I've heard oh. that. It will. Okay. Right. Stand still. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think we're gonna do a bit of do a close nothing. Up. So make whirring noises. Hello, Pepper. Droplets on the screen. So Heidi, as, as PI, do you have any? Uh, <laughs> Any wise words you want to impart onto the day? No, I'm just very excited. <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> You're going to miss the main event in a minute. <laughs>